Well, won't you give me three steps, give me three steps, mister, give me three steps toward the door. Give me three steps, give me three steps, mister, and you'll never see me no more. All right, so this one, we're calculating geometric probabilities, which is all fun and games until you start. Ha, just kidding, it's all fun and games. Let's take a look at this problem. So a couple of kids, or a couple has kids until they have a girl. What is the probability of them having exactly four kids? So this is geometric. Why is it geometric? Not because it's in the geometric video. No, it's because of certain properties this problem has. The probability of having a girl is 0.5, and we're going to continue trying until we have the girl. So, the question is, what is the probability that we get exactly four girls? Well, what we need to do is, well, okay, there's two ways to do this. There's the scary way, which would be, all right, we're going to fail three times. Then multiply that by P. So in general, if we're looking at the probability that X equals K, that's 1 minus P to the K minus 1 times P. Right, so you probably aren't interested in that. If you are, then great, then we can talk about it, and you can use that and do this by hand. But you all have graphing calculators, you know, because you've taken three years of math classes that have all required graphing calculators, and this class requires a graphing calculator, so you have one too, I guess. So what we need to do is instead of doing binome PDF, we're going to do geomet PDF. So with these problems, you use PDF if there's an equal sign. If you see a, a less than or equals to sign, it's CDF. That's an important thing to take notice of. That's the difference. If it's an equal sign, use the PDF. If it's less than or equal to, use CDF. So what we're going to enter in the binome or the geometric PDF is the probability of success, comma, the number of trials that we want to have. So we want four kids. So in this problem, it's P comma K, right? Because that's K, right? That's K, right? Say right. Why didn't you say right? Come on, that's ridiculous. If I ask you to do something, you should do it. Now you're laughing at me. Great. Thanks a lot. Specific to this problem, however, that would be 0.5, the probability of success, and we want four kids. Now, you find geometric PDF under the same button as binome PDF. So you go second, then vars, then you scroll down. Capiche? Capiche. So this probability, the probability of having exactly four kids, is 0 0.0625. Huzzah. Next problem. And the last new problem that we'll do, we'll do some review questions at the end. Same problem. What is the probability that 0 0.5, with 0.5, probability of success of having a girl, what is the probability that they have more than three children? So... We're going to look at the probability that x is greater than 3, which is 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 2, which is 1 minus, and the probability that x is less than or equal to 2 on your calculator is binome, or sorry, a bad habit, geomet, c, d, f. Remember what I said? If it's less than or equal to, you use CDF. CDF stands for cumulative. And if something's cumulative, it takes care of all of your old data and averages that in as well. It takes that into account. So your cumulative GPA is all of your grade point averages averaged together. Your, I guess, 
density or your probability or your GPA, the PDF GPA, would be this year's GPA. So this is uh, 1 minus geomet CDF, 0.5 comma 2. So in your calculator, you literally calculate, type that all in. 1 minus geomet PDF, 0.5 comma 2. And then you get 0.75. So that is the probability that they'll have more than three children. So if you're going to use this strategy, three out of four times you're going to have more than three children. All right, let's do some example problems. Here's the scenario. Suppose you're a three-point shooter, and you're 40% accurate. Wow, my thing just freaked out. What is the probability that it takes, let's see, at least three shots for the first make, that your first make is exactly... the fifth shot and let's say that the first make is within your first seven shots all right pause your video and answer these questions Okay, assuming that you've paused your video, it's important that we say for all these problems somewhere that this is a geometric distribution with the probability of success equaling 0.4. Alright, so if the probability of success is 0.4, we need to write a, a probability statement for number one. This is the probability that well, so at least 3 is x greater than or equal to 3. We need to write that as a less than or equal to. So that's 1 minus for the complement. The probability that x is less than or equal to 2. Because you're either greater than or equal to 3, you either make 3 or more, or you make 2 or less. Those are complements of each other. That's why it's 1 minus. So on your calculator, this is 1 minus geomet cdf. 0.4 comma 2. The next problem is the probability that it, it takes exactly 5 shots. So x equals 5, which is geomet. Now, pdf, because it's equals to 0.4 comma 5. Then the last one is the first shot is within the first seven shots. So that means the seventh shot is, is acceptable. So that means the probability that x is less than or equal to seven, which is geomet CDF, cumulative density function, 0.4 comma seven. All right, so you should be able to use those to calculate the probabilities. The key thing is knowing how to use your calculator. If you have any questions, let me know. But first, you should ask a peer, because it's likely that a peer who's already taken this unit already knows how to do these problems. All right, best of luck on your last formative and then on your summative assessment. You're a rock star, except for the fact that you're not a rock star, you're a student. Figuratively, you're a rock star. Literally, you're a student. Or you could be a rock student. Well, I suppose being a rock student would be bad. Because if you're a student who's a rock, then you're not particularly, you know, growth-oriented. Rocks tend to not get smarter. If anything, they tend to smooth out and become more dull over time. All right, I'm rambling. This is over. You're ready.